Well, now that the kitchen looks great, let's learn what we should be stocking into it. I bet if you ask people why they don't buy healthier foods, they would say they either don't have the time to do it, they don't know what to buy, or it costs too much. If you think paying more for food means it's safer or better for you, not necessarily. I actually spoke with a nutritionist that breaks it all down for us. Well, with so many trends in the food aisles, it's often difficult to tell which ingredients we should pay attention to and which we should be avoiding. Labels and ingredients are complex and confusing and becoming even more of a growing concern for shoppers who want to eat right without breaking the bank. So nutrition expert Tara Guidis is here to help. Tara, thank you so much for joining us this morning. Thank you for having me. And again, so many trends in foods, it's almost hard to keep up, but there are really ingredients that we should be paying attention to and then some that we should be avoiding. Is that right? That's right, and you know, consumers are more savvy than ever, which I absolutely love. We know what we want, and we're asking for it. And in fact, the FDA is also saying, you know what? No partially hydrogenated oils can be in, product, in food products after 2018, which is huge. So food manufacturers are like, okay, how do I get rid of this? Well, Aldi Food Markets is saying, okay, we'll, we'll remove the partially hydrogenated oils. We're going to also remove synthetic colors. We're also going to remove added MSG, and we're not waiting until until 2018, we're doing it right now. So by the end of 2015, there will be none of those in any of the exclusive brands that are in all these uh, stores, and that makes up about 90% of the products on shelves. So this is huge that a food company, that a grocer has said, all right, this is what you want. We're going to respond in a big way. So this is like groundbreaking. This is amazing. I love this. And I know that, well, one of the things that I have a problem with when I'm going through the store and I'm looking at the, the label on the side of, of the food container, it's hard to kind of decipher what I'm looking at. Do you have any tips on how we can kind of pick out what we're trying to find? Yes, you need to get a PhD in food label reading. <laughs> no, it's really difficult because, you know, you do, you feel like, I'm not a food chemist, I don't know what all this stuff is. So what they're doing is they're making it a lot easier where you can just look at the front of the pack. They're putting things like the calories and the fiber and the sodium and things that we should be caring about and do care about right in the front of the pack. They're also putting things like gluten-free, certified organic, non-GMO, you know, a lot of those things. So if you forget, does barley have gluten? I can't remember. If you're looking at ingredients, it says right there. There, gluten free and if it doesn't say gluten free then it probably isn't so it's making it a lot easier and a lot simpler and less time for us to be able to read those food labels oh this is the best news of the day because that that just shortens my shopping time so much so I'm wondering are there any other initiatives that are going to be out there that will help consumers kind of pick out those healthy products yeah, absolutely. So if you think a shorter shopping time is good, how about saving money? So I've got four boys, okay? So you can imagine what my grocery store bill is like. They eat me out of house and home. So if I can save even 10% or 20% on my grocery bill, I'm like, you know, hands down, I'm there. So Aldi has these exclusive brands, as I talked about. So they've done a, a study to show how much are people saving when they switch from the national brand to this exclusive Aldi brand? How much are people saving? And they can save up to 50%, almost half of the grocery store bill just by switching to those brands. And they taste just as good, by the way. I've done some blind taste tests and it works. The other thing is when you're looking at the things that we've talked about, the gluten-free, the organic, you know, non-GMO, you think, oh, I have to go to this specialty store or that fancy store in order to get it. Not so much. You know, you can go to a, a store like Aldi and say, oh, wow, they have really a wide selection of organic produce, organic meats, organic dairy. And for much less cost than you might find somewhere else. So it's really good that grocers are stepping up and they're saying, you know, not only um, are we going to provide you with the things that you're asking for, but we're going to do it at a lower cost. And to me, that's like win, 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 win all over the place. <laughs> all of the win in the world. You're telling me how I can get healthier food for my family <laughs> while I'm saving money. This is like unheard of. Any other tips for our viewers this morning, Tara? Yeah, so if you've ever wanted to take a dietitian like me to the grocery store, for some people it's their worst nightmare, and some people are like, yes, I want to do that. You can go to aldi.us, and there's a section there called Dietitian's Picks. So myself and other registered dietitians that are on Aldi's advisory council have said, all right, these are the things that we think are the best to choose, you know, specifically here at Aldi. So definitely check that out. And then you can also go to Facebook and like the Aldi USA page, and you'll get a lot of really good tips there as well, and it's it's fantastic. I love it. I'm going to go ahead there right now. Tara, this has been so much fun. Thank you so much for joining me. Absolutely. Thank you. Now, don't go anywhere. The Morning Blend will be right back.